Welcome to the Rusted Garden. Today I want to talk to you about Epsom salt. It's highly used in the garden. There's a lot of videos on it, lots of literature on it, and this video is really going to explain to you what the product is, how it works, why it works, and how you would use it in your garden. I'm going to do other videos that show you um, the mixtures that I use on tomato plants and on peppers and even on my onions. So Epsom salts is magnesium sulfate. It's MgSO4 and it really consists of magnesium, sulfur, and oxygen. And what you're getting in this product is magnesium and sulfur that you can mix in water. It's very water soluble and you're really dosing your plants with additional magnesium and sulfur. And like I said, it's water soluble. The main ingredients that the chemicals that, that work or the elements that work in your garden are magnesium and sulfur. Now why is that important? Magnesium and chlorophyll are related. A chlorophyll molecule, the green in your plants, the uh, molecule that changes the sunlight into energy for the plant, has a magnesium ion, ion in it. So you need magnesium in your ground so that your plant can uptake it and be healthy, be green, and have chlorophyll. Now most, most gardens, most earth has magnesium in it, so it's not like you have a huge deficiency, but this is a way just to kind of improve the growth of your, your plants. And again, chlorophyll is needed for photosynthesis. Magnesium is also involved in the capture of CO2, carbon dioxide. And carbon dioxide is broken down by the plant in glucose manufacturing, and it's really what gives the plant energy. So magnesium is essential to your plant. If you have a magnesium deficiency, you may see your plant starting to turn yellow. Now, it's not a full yellow leaf. It's the veins. Let me pinch off a leaf here. I don't know how well you can see it. But there's veins in this tomato plant and the yellowing starts in these veins. So it's a weird start to the yellowing that gives you an idea that you have a magnesium deficiency. And the yellowing of leaves between the veins is, is also called uh, chlorosis. Now what is sulfur for? Sulfur is a nutrient that your plant needs and it aids in a lot of different things. And it's actually, some people say it's a micro element, some people say it's a, uh, I'm sorry, micronutrient. Some people say it's a macronutrient. Whatever you decide to call it, your plants need it. Sulfur aids in root growth. It helps plants manage the cold. It aids in the production of chlorophyll. And it also activates proteins and enzymes for the general plant growth. So sulfur is needed for kind of the overall general growth of your plant. The other thing that I think is true in part is that sulfur adds flavor and heat to your vegetables. Now specifically I think that sulfur does make my onions and garlic taste better when I use it. There's also research that it says it makes hot um, hot peppers hotter. I don't know if that's true or not. Now how do you use it? Epsom salt again you can buy at the grocery store. You can buy at a pharmacy. It's really inexpensive. They come in basically um, containers like this. This is four pounds. I think it was maybe three dollars. But you can find it anywhere. It's good to say right on there. Magnesium sulfate Epsom salts, that's what you want, magnesium sulfate. It's highly water soluble, like I said. So all you do to use it in your garden uh, is basically measured by a tablespoon. Here's a tablespoonful of magnesium sulfate. I keep um, a set of tablespoons outdoors on a string that I just hang from my deck. This way I can measure stuff pretty easily. You can use this many different ways. Again, I don't want to say you have to do it my way. I just want you to understand what Epsom salts are used for. How do you use magnesium sulfate? So when you're planting a tomato or a pepper or a cucumber plant or anything really, you can put in one tablespoon into a planting hole. So dig your planting hole pretty deep, drop in a tablespoon full of the magnesium sulfate and then really mix it into the planting hole. That's step one. That gets magnesium sulfate into your planting hole, let your plant growing. The other thing that you can do is if you don't want to put it into the planting hole, you can put one tablespoon in a gallon of water and just water your transplant in. Same thing. You can do it perfectly that way. You can also make Epsom salt sprays and it's one tablespoon in a gallon of water. You can use a watering can, you can use a spray bottle, or you can use, you know, a general one gallon sprayer. A lot of people, again, make this uh, spray with at the time when your plants flower, and this is mostly for really... Um, tomatoes and peppers, but one tablespoon in a gallon of water, spray your plant, soak the leaves down at flowering, and then they spray it again when your first fruit sets. And really just soak the leaves. It's, again, I want to um, really state that it's water-soluble, 
you can pour it right on your plant. Your plant will absorb it through the leaves. It gets into the root system quickly. So it's a pretty safe product to use if you're just going with one tablespoon and a gallon of water. You don't have to overdo this. This is not something you have to do weekly. Now, this is just one way to kind of manage your plants with Epsom salts. You can also just do a spray every two weeks if you want to. It's really up to you. But again, I wanted to explain to you what exactly magnesium, magnesium sulfate does for your garden. I think you're going to see a lot of videos on it. A lot of people say it's essential for tomato growth. A lot of people say it's sort of like the the magic uh, mix to put into your sprays, into your fertilizers, and I agree with that for the most part. But you don't have to overdo it. Hopefully this gave you an idea of why magnesium sulfate helps your different plants grow. I'm going to be doing videos on how to prepare um, the solutions for peppers, tomatoes, and onions, and garlic, and I'll show you short videos on that over the next couple of weeks. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please check out my blog at www.therusticgarden.blogspot.com, and also check out my YouTube videos. Thanks.